Hello from my Gambia. Today we bring you an amazing young artist uh, all the way from Brikama, an Afro Manding and an instrumentalist, Musa Fili Jabate. We are happy to have you. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little about your journey from being an artist to an instrumentalist or from an instrumentalist to an artist. <laughs> yeah, well, first of all, you know, I'm a Giriot, I'm from a Giriot family. Okay. Yeah, my, my dad was a Gembe exporter, you know, so I was born and raised and so the Gembe is around the compound and, you know, I, I started playing the Gembe at the age of three. But I started performing on stage at the age of five, that was in 2006, at Alliance Franco, the World Music Day. Okay. Yeah. And what struck your interest into the instrument? Yeah, like, I'm a djembe player, so, like, I think my dad inspired me to be an instrumentalist because he was having a band mm -hmm. that I was the lead djembe player. Yeah, but before that, like, he was a djembe exporter, he was exporting djembe from here to abroad, so before I was born. So I was born and raised within the djembe, so, and then I just started playing with it. So tell us about your music career then. I started, you know, singing in 2013, but then I didn't record any single, I didn't record any song. I was just going with my friends, you know. By then I, I just used to play keyboard for one of my friends called Zimbaker. You know, I just play keyboard for him, he sing, you know, so we were there and then he was like, when he is singing, I, I, I back him in, on the ground, so he was like, you know, I think you should also sing, you know, because your voice is good and stuff. I was like, no, I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to be a singer. So, and then he went home and then I also started playing the keyboard, I started singing along, you know, and then in 2018, I started recording songs and then, you know. And it came all the way here. What was your biggest hit song? The that audience? was Nkanunyo. Nkanunyo. Nkanunyo, yeah. Okay. I, I released that in 2019. Uh, yeah, 19. as an instrumentalist at, at a young age and then you mm -hmm. became a young star. Um, what, how does it feel being a young star in the industry? Did you face any challenges with it? Yeah, I do face challenges, you know, it's not easy. Yeah, but I feel good because like, I'm always around musicians and stuff because like, my dad was a musician, he was a promoter. So he like he take me to places that I be having experiences and stuff. Yeah, but I do have challenges though. And did there come a day when you want to give up when the challenges are too much and you're like, I don't want to go again? No. I never I never I never try to give up, you know. Okay. Yeah. So um, we also know that you you're teaching instrument in school. Is this right? Yeah, yeah, I'm teaching at Sona Jabatis music school called the Gambia Academy mm -hmm. at Khartoum, yeah. Okay. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the djembe teacher. The and I sometimes teach vocals too, when the, when, the, when the vocal teacher is not around, I teach vocals too. Okay. <laughs> and tell us about your collaborations. Have you collaborated with any big star in the Gambia or outside? Yeah, I was featured on a two song, you know, that was in 2019. I do have my own songs that I featured some artists that are not yet out. Artists like Attack and Acidic. Yeah, okay. I think, yeah. And do you have any from outside the Gambia? Yeah, I'm about to have a collaboration with a Zimbabwean artist called Patrice. The mm -hmm. song is about the beauty of Africa. Okay. Yeah, we are working on it. I, 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 I recorded my verse 
and then I send it to them so they're about to do their because and then okay you know we see what we can do about it yeah and um, do you wish to tell us where can one see you perform yeah sure I, I perform at your restaurant at Fajara mm -hmm. every Friday from 8 to 10 8 okay. p.m. to 10 p.m. yeah have you ever released any album or EP not yet I released an instrumental instrumental album in 2012 that was only instrument you know I, I featured Cora, Jembe, uh, Balafong and and Junjun, Junjun. Okay. Yeah. But it has no vocals. It's all the instrument. By then I was not even singing. I was just playing the Jembe. Yeah. So are you working on any project? Yeah, sure. I'm working on my EP. Yeah. How soon will that be out there for the audience? Well, I can't tell about that, but you know. It's on the way. It's on the way. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, being a young instrumentalist and artist and you are a teacher at an academic at your age how does that make you feel and how important is it to you uh, well I feel good and I feel proud to give my knowledge to the younger ones because it's a way of keeping the tradition of my forefathers or our forefathers mm -hmm. you know and aside from music you mm -hmm. do you also have other passions yeah, sure. I do commercial modeling and then I'm looking into being an actor. I, I was featured in one movie called Lanjuro. That was the only movie that I was featured on, but it's okay. something that I'm really looking into. You started with uh, playing djembe and then continued to music. But among these two, which one is closer to you? Well, as you said, right now I'm focusing more on the singing side, but djembe is something that is part of me. Mm -hmm. it's, djembe is, 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 let me say, it's just who I am, you know, because okay. it took me to... From yeah, where it, you are? Yeah, so... Okay. Yeah, it's more closer to me, djembe is just... Okay, but that's not easy. my other half. <laughs> where do you see yourself well I will be releasing my EP by the end of the year mm -hmm. and then hopefully I'm gonna drop an album the following year and then looking forward to do a huge concert in the stadium okay you know, having a million views on YouTube and stuff you know what I'm saying what is your message to the world well first of all I would like to thank God for giving me the talent because mm -hmm. without the talent, I don't think I will be here today. Secondly, I would like to thank my father for his motivation and encouragement to watch my career. Mm -hmm. uh, not forgetting the fans, you know, I love you all. And then I'm gonna tell you guys to keep supporting, keep, you know, keep supporting, keep supporting. I'm gonna make you proud, inshallah. All right, Musa. Um, we wish you a good luck on your career as Thank an you. artist and more success coming your Thank way. You. Thank you very Thank much you for so coming. We're happy to have you here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.